Welcome to Atticum Plays Port Royale 4. All right. Hi, this is Atticum, and welcome to Series 4, Episode 1. Yes, I said Series 4, Episode 1 of Port Royale, Port Royale 4, Closed Beta. Uh, we are going to take uh, start over on the uh, free mode with the Buccaneer because I just flat out goofed. I was cleaning up all the save files. I've been doing a lot of experimenting, had a whole bunch of saves and started cleaning them up and I just went one too far and uh, deleted the save file we needed to continue the series three. And I maybe could have gone back and, you know, looked behind the scenes and tried to recover it. But honestly, I'm not that upset. I hope you aren't, uh, you aren't too upset either. But um, I, I've learned a whole bunch more about how, whoops, 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 about um, what uh, what needs to be done to play the game well. And I think I think what we're going to do here is get off to a much stronger start and be in a position to go into the military faster, hopefully with a better um, uh, economy. So. So let's just get started. So we're going to do the exact same setup. I won't go through all that stuff again. We're going to do the very small down here in Portobello with the same uh, settings uh, on the rest of it. And let's take off. Now, the sad thing is we won't get the exact same um, objectives because those are generated each game when you start a new game. So let's see what our objectives are. Ah, interesting. Boarded 18 vessels. So we're going to have to get into fights and board 18 vessels. Uh, producing 60 furniture per day. Huh, that's quite a bit of furniture. 3,000 workers. I was at 21. Wow, that's, that's a fair amount too. Um, they want us to have eight galleons by 1662, so we're going to have to get off to a great start to do that. Sink 60 vessels. Uh, satisfied people. <clears throat> We've already made that one because our, our one town we missed her is already at that level. Yay! Way to go, guys. Um, sick. Whoa. Is it me or is this one harder? six cathedrals that means we have to have six towns that we've grow to eight thousand and administer because i don't yeah we have to construct them um and at least eight towns oh in our nation so we have to expand the uh, spain we have to expand spain to eight and six of those eight need to have cathedrals <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be good, but it's real. I mean, it's let's face it, it's very, very similar. And again, our emphasis is going to be to hit these in 12 years, and we'll check these off if we can. But I'm not going to let them drive my play this time. We're still learning. Uh, we're going to focus on these. All right. So that's what we need to get done. <clears throat> so let's take a quick look at at uh, materials. Well, I want to take the first look. I want to take is right here at uh, what's being made in Cartagena. And we see that coffee could be made there, but it isn't being produced. Now, the reason I make a point of that is because I've, I've taken a closer look at how you get fame. And you'll notice that to get fame in Cartagena now, we need to ship coffee and cocoa. Now, I have uh, restarted this multiple times, running tests and, you know, playing with things. And if coffee wasn't, was already being made in Cartagena the same way the cotton and the tobacco were, then the only thing you would have to ship for, uh, uh, the only thing you could get to Cartagena to get fame would be the cocoa. So... Uh, 100% of your goal would be here. And the way this works, I finally figured that out too. Uh, oh, and look, they want cotton. That's interesting. It changes every time. And I thought I had the pattern down, and I don't. But here's the deal this time. Tobacco doesn't count. But, we ha but cotton does, coffee does, and cocoa does. So we have to ship those three. And what will happen is we'll get a percentage based on meeting all of this 
how much of this we met and how much of this we met, the cocoa. And if we meet, if we get at least 187 of these, 207 of these, 233 of these, we'll get 100 fame points. So that's how it works. So I think it's a straight percentage, but we'll see. But we know we have to get cotton, coffee, and cocoa. And they're capable of uh, producing three of those, coffee, well, two of those, coffee and cotton, but not the cocoa. So we definitely want a trade license with uh, Cartagena, we know that. And we need cocoa if we want to really get our fame going. And right over here in Cahuita is cocoa. So I'm going to add Cahuita to our mix with a trade license. That gives us three towns. And we can start right there with those three. Now next I'm going to take these three, um, this is kind of tedious, but we're going, I'm going to take these three convoys and combine them into one convoy. So I pick three and I'm going to uh, disband it. Then I'm going to pick two and disband it. Then I'm going to pick one, which is hiding over here, and go to the lighthouse and consolidate. So now we've got one uh, convoy. I'm going to call it, uh, call it Portobello uh, Local. Okay. And then we're going to go in and create a trade route. And we'll do Portobello Cahuita Cartagena. So what we want is standard stuff in Portobello. We want standard stuff in Cahuita. Is cocoa on there? Or, or um, yeah, cocoa. Yeah, it is buy. But I'm gonna leave the buy as automatic. So in other words, it'll buy it at a good price. And we're gonna go to Cartagena, and we're gonna set up. Well, should we buy? Yeah, why not? Let me start this over. Okay. We're, I'm just going to have all these at standard, but we're going to sell the cocoa at whatever price. So, and we're going to set up the demand so that it's very, very high. So, so that we have maximum demand for cocoa in Cartagena. So the ships, when they get to Cahuita, they're going to see that we want a large number. We want to sell a lot of uh, cocoa in our Cartagena, and they should load up as much as they can. But they'll do as much as they can with decent pricing, with automatic pricing. Because we don't want to, if we have a whatever, whatever deal where we're paying whatever price in Cahuita and whatever uh, price here, uh, we could end up losing money on that deal, and we don't want to. This, this line's going to build fame for us, and it should do very nicely. It's also going to make money for us, and it should do that very nicely. All right, so now we have a route. And, mm, yeah, I, wanna, I do want to, I want to rename the route. And pull up our one uh, little uh, fleet here, assign them to it, and make them active. Then I want to take advantage of our fame that we already have, and we want to cash in. I want at least two captains, and I want the one that makes everybody happier. Let's see, are we going? We're going to do grain and beer, definitely. We've already got hemp. We're going to do rope. We have hemp in um, Portobello. We will do, let's see, let's do clothing, and, or cloth and clothing. Do we have any left? No, that's all of them. Okay. So, uh, what else is there? Ah, well, there's a lot more. Okay, so, go back to our fame and take another look. We get it for cotton, coffee, cocoa. So what we'd like to do, well, we're, we're going to have to trade for a, for a moment. So let's just go ahead and start. Let this run. 
get our approval rating up in Cartagena. Captain is available. She's a, oh, we've got a three. Oh, good. Uh, gunman maneuverability, that could be good. All right, we'll definitely take him. And a zero. Very, very cheap. Huh, huh. I, I will reject her. Others will come along. But I definitely want to have two when all is said and done. All right, we want to watch here. Oh, good. We, that, that one trade was all it took to get, get people happy with us. We have building permission in, in Cartagena. Now, <clears throat> this is something I've learned from playing around. I was overproducing, and it was actually hurting the economy because if you're overproducing, you're not selling the goods, you're just running up your cost of goods, and you're spending money investing. Those are not insignificant hunks of money when you expand a farm from one to two or two to three, and that's money you could have been spent that could have been spent somewhere else. So what we're gonna do here is try to get a closer match. We can see here three businesses produce 36 uh, cotton a day. So that's a, a lot of cotton a month. So if we look at our fame, I know I keep going back to this, we need 233 a month. So 12, three, one, <laughs> One cotton farm will, will should do the job down here. We may expand it to two, but we're going to put in one cotton farm, and that should give us the cotton we need in Cartagena uh, to get our fame. Then the, I'm sorry. And the other thing we need, uh, uh, the coffee. Two, uh, one, uh, same deal. Uh, co actually, coffee's not as productive as cotton. Um, is it being grown here at all? It isn't being grown at all, so we'll have to see how productive it is after we put it in. So, um, oh, man, clicking everything on here. Okay, coffee, we'll put it right up here. Okay, so we'll have cotton and coffee. And once that one's built, we'll see how productive it is. <clears throat> now we want to go over to our town where we're the administrator in Portobello. And what what is that? That must be meat. That it must be I guess that's corn and meat and it's sort of um, hazy. They might want to take a look at that. That's that's weird looking. So let's take a look at what we could produce in Portobello and how much we want to produce. So let, let's start with one of each thing. Uh, so we can produce, we can grow fruit. So let's go out here and we'll have fruit farms in here. And let's do corn. We can have corn right there and right through there. And then we can have meat right there, like that. And we're about out of money, so let's let it run for a while. But I think by building just what you need at the beginning, rather than trying to build, you know, dozens and dozens of things, you know, full sets of four and all that, uh, one, you won't overproduce. You'll have a pretty better, a better matchup of your production and what you can sell. And two, I mean, look at that. We were able to put three products in. And what I was doing before was trying to build four corn and I'd have to wait to get the four corn, and then I wouldn't be making as much money off of it. But now, by having one, one, and one, uh, we've got three products going. Each of them can make money, and we can ex should be able to expand them even faster. So this is, a, to me, this is a big improvement in gameplay right here. Just this little thing. Uh, let's see. Clothing, France. I-29. Um, I know.
It's also good because you get a new business started faster because you have to go out and get the bricks and the, and the logs and stuff, but you can get them started. See, we've already, now we've got our, our fruit business already up and running, already producing fruit for us. We should be able to sell it and make money. Now we are competing with other producer here, but that's, that's okay. We're getting our little piece of the pie as well. Notice our money's doing just fine. And we need to put, did we put that? Yeah, we put in a coffee plantation. Let's see how much we're producing of coffee and, uh, well, overall the city's making, uh, that's not telling me what I want to know. Let's go to fame. Okay, you can see we're already shipping uh, cocoa because those were existing plants, uh, existing uh, farms, plantations from over in Cahuita. But th here you go. Now this month, oh, excellent. We've, we've hit our cocoa goal for the month. We've hit our cotton for the month. So that we've, we're making, no, no, we haven't. We're halfway there. Halfway there. Yeah, I, I, now I don't know if that cotton was fully productive that whole month, but I think we're going to throw down another cotton. And then the coffee will probably, well, now we can see how much it, it produces. Production, coffee, us. Six. It'd be like 180 a month we could produce. We need two, we need, yeah, we need, we need one more of each, I think, to, to feel safe. So, but the good news is we have the money. Again, I think, because we got other businesses up and running faster. So we'll throw down a cotton, throw down a coffee. And we've got another fame. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? Uh, I think I'll go this way. We'll get the tailor. Oh, he's not on a convoy? What in the world? I thought I had him assigned. Sorry, asleep at the wheel. Go get to work. You want, you want your um, captains working, so they're picking up experience. What do they need here? Insufficient housing, that's fine. Nineteen hundred. What we need here is a church, a small church, and housing. We need all kinds of things. Eighty-seven thousand for that church. There's another fame point. Okay, cotton production is good. Cocoa, coffee is looking better. It's, yeah, yeah, I think we're on pace for all the coffee. You can see how much we're getting. And then uh, the cocoa. Have you ever heard of Edward Teach? He is supposed to be a new pirate. Okay, we need more housing down here. We've already got a nice little in in tavern combo, so we're going to put some housing around that. Uh, 
Uh, another, another fame point. <laughs> All right, I want to go out there and get the galleon. New task. Coffee to France. Coffee to France. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, there, we just added some housing. Our city is growing. We're probably going to need some more housing. Another captain. Another zero. No, thank you. Put in some more housing in um, Portobello. That's a little better, a one with a lot of potential. Okay, we'll hire her. We don't want her to just sit, so we will, we will, if nothing else, give her a little cheap, um, let's give her a couple of schooners. We'll give her a, a little cheap uh, convoy to Captain. Okay, and we'll pull that one up. And assign her and activate the route and now she can start gaining experience <clears throat> and another fame point see we got 99 little short here so we need to build up that coffee we'll work on that shortly but I'm pretty happy with, I'm relatively happy with 99 a month. That, that'll work. What was I doing? Concession. Uh, yeah, we might as well get the war galleon. Okay, what I want to do now is get another trade license with Riahacha because it has uh, wood, and that's a major weakness of our whole war, uh, deal here is lack of wood. So we're going to take our route here. We're going to add Riahacha to it, and I'm going to add Portobello again too. So we're going to go Portobello, Cahuita, Portobello, Cartagena, Riahacha, Cartagena, and that will get us back to the start. <clears throat> so let's check each one of these. This is a new one. I uh, want the usual buys and sells. Yep. Cartagena, we want to... Uh, that, that's the good one. Riahacha, we'll do the usual buys and sells. And then the second Cartagena, we will go in and make it uh, high demand. with whatever pricing. Okay. And the nice thing is we've changed the route and the both uh, convoys will just automatically adjust. And here we go. Now we're trading with Riahacha. And what I'd like to do now is expand a little bit more, add another trade license and go right back in there and edit the route again and put Nekokli in there twice. It'll be once after, we'll see, doo -doo, after Portobello on the way to Cartagena and once after Cartagena on the way to Portobello. Perfect. And let's go in and make sure it's correct, but it just needs standard and standard and go. Now we've got uh, five cities in our loop and we've got uh, so now <clears throat> so what that does now that we have five cities we've created a larger demand within our trade route for the goods that we're producing. 
right? So what we want to do is just keep expanding along with that. The things that we are building, we can kind of look, uh, you can get a kind of sort of an idea by looking here. See, there's plenty of fruit here. Fruit and corn look good. Beer's being produced here and actually doing well, but I don't, that's, we're going to change that. Uh, hemp. See, we, we haven't built hemp yet, have we? I don't remember building a hemp field. No, we haven't. So let's fix that. Let's put in hemp. And if we're going to put in hemp, we'll put in a rope once we have a little more money. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A level three captain who's a great trade captain. Oh, I don't want to do that, but I have to go have to lay her off. Hire this rather homely fellow here. <laughs> it hurts me to do that. And let's go find a ship that he can uh, captain. That one would be a good shot right there. Go get to work. Another fame point. All right, I think our fame is in good shape. I don't think we have to focus too much on extra cocoa. A little more wouldn't hurt. Making it ourselves certainly wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh. Concessions, fame points, basket the rum. All right. <clears throat> so it feels like we're off to a strong start. Let's just see, are we? <laughs> I don't know what that, I don't know how that's calculated if it, if it takes into account your investments. Like if you just, if you spend a bunch of money buying something, I, it really is so uninformative. Uh, at least I'll put it this way. In my current understanding, it is very uninformative. All right, our fame is great. Our economy seems to be growing. That's all I can tell you. It seems to be growing. Ah, I know what we want to do. We want to get building permission here because we want to go in here and make um, grain. I'm going to start off with two because I know I'm going to um, put beer here as well. Two hundred meat. I don't. I don't see that happening. No. Okay, we've got, I want to put in beer. And we have, we'll probably have one, two, three. Well, shoot, we'll never be able to touch that one. One, two, three, four. Let's put a beer factory in here. Or a beer, yeah, beer, whatever they, what do they call it? A brewery. All right. They'd like us to build Puerto Cabasis. I mean, it's probably a good defensive thing because it's the closest town to our unknown over here, but we know England's over here. And this would be the first town that they would get to. Be nice to have it built up so it didn't become English at some point. Um, uh, but but I, I I'm going to stick with building. I want to I want to keep building. Sugar ah 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 definitely want to get into sugar. Sugar 
sugar. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So sugar can go here and maybe over that way. And we have rum. Uh, another fame point. <laughs> this guy just racks them up. Especially the way we're doing it. Look at this. There's 100 points. 96 already this month. Uh, let's see. Concessions. And we've got sugar. I think I'm going to do two sugar because... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, why can't we do rum? One, two, one, one. So there, we must be missing uh, the uh, the building that allows you to no that's there's the master builder he allows the construction so I'm not sure why we can't build a rum distillery for 40 grand and put it right there why can't we do that? Obviously we have build rights or we couldn't have made these farms. There is a master builder in town which allows you to um, create the um, buildings. Let's see, am I... That's definitely a buildable site. Why can't we do that? <sighs> Makes the construction of manufacturing businesses for high quality goods possible. Um, I don't think we have to own, you know, be the administrator of the city to do that, I would hope. All right, that's a puzzle to me. All right, we're making cotton, so I'd like to make clothing. So let's do this. Let's expand our cotton one more time. And then right here, uh, one, two, three, four. Ah, shoot. One, two. I may turn these up this way if I build any more uh, because I'd like to put a, a clothing right there if I had more money, which I do now. Okay. See, because there, there are, that's kind of, there's, a production building that we put in. Weird, weird, weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine more concessions to have this filled out, and then several question of how many captains are you going to have? What else could we do? What would be 
Ah, we could get into bricks. Let's get building permission in Cahuita. Let's do a couple of bricks. There we go. And then we could make our own uh, cocoa, of course. We, we could do a couple of cocos over there. Okay, looking better, looking better. Take a look at our trade routes. 89% uh, load, okay. Uh, we could use more ships on our trade routes. So what I'm gonna do here, whoops. Uh, they don't have any small ones. Oh. you to go to Portobello and create a convoy with that sloop. This is the one we just bought. Well, that was silly. I should just had it stay up here. I'm going to have it go back to Port Royale. <laughs> and pick up his buddy. Okay, and now go back to Portobello. Pretty, isn't it? <laughs> All right, and then we want our trade, not, not two, we want, we want to look for the other trade route to come in here. Another fame point. Here comes. I want this one to make a go into Portobello, and then I want it to uh, oh, I have to take uh, let's see. This one needs to be disbanded, and then this one. Needs to pick those up and go back to work. I think you can see the flow of our money is so much better now. Uh, we're not building luxury items in Neko Klee. You won't even let me build a distillery. I think this is just so much better to, to build up a little more gradually. Why can't I build that? Uh, let's see. What do we got out here? We've got our cocoa. We've got our brickyards. You can do wheat here, but we don't need it redundantly. What else can they make? We can do metal here. It's only 90%, but it's in our system, easy to do, and we can just build uh, one or two of them, I guess. One is probably all we need for now. We'll build one ore. And there's, oh, and there's coal and Neko Klee. What do you know? I was just wondering, where's the coal going to come from? Coal can be right back there. Let's 
So if you have coal and you have metals, then you can build tools, can you not? But again, not in that town. Why not? Let's just see if that's a problem because if we can build them in this town, there's a defect. And we can. Will you look at that? If we put it, I think, next to this, yes, it'll get a bonus for being next to that uh, iron. So now we've got tools production, or metalware's production. I just think, I think tools is a better name. Okay. Uh, So, um, I just feel like that is a much stronger start than going out and making all those trade lines, you know, paying for all those trade licenses and also overproducing uh, the stuff that we're making. So why don't we stop right there for episode one, and yes, I know we're supposed to be fighting, but um, I, the whole key to fighting is being able to afford it. I can promise you that. I promise you that. The key to fighting is being able to afford it. And uh, so we have to build this up. We possibly could take that task in Cahita, Cahuita, but it just gives us fame. And I mean, my word, we're getting 99 or 100 fame every month. So um, let's stop right there. I, I, that was, I enjoyed that immensely because that's just so much better than what we're doing. And we're still at the end of the day, it's just January of our, we just start we, in that first year. So we played one year of, I think we started January 1660, didn't we? Uh, and so in one year we've expanded out to five trade licenses and built uh, how many businesses? One, two, three, four there. One, two, three, three there. Uh, one, two, three, three there. I mean, I'm talking about unique businesses, or two there, and two here. Oh, and you know what we could do? We could plant some veggies, why not? We'll plant some veggies there and call that, a, call that quits. So now we've got a more balanced uh, distribution of stuff and uh, we're just ripping through the fame, it's ridiculous. So uh, that's a great first year, I think. Um, so when we come back, we'll continue to build out our, our economy. I'll show you what we wanna do in terms of getting a warehouse in here to start using that to our advantage. And then we may get into something interesting. We may jump into a little bit of piracy. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it'll help us all become better players. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Port Royale 4 video. Thank you.